Hey there Wargamers, Justin Cloud here with another video for a product review. Before us we have the Imperial Armor Volume 3 Second Edition for the Taros Campaign. Uh, I keyed in there on the words Second Edition because this is obviously the second printing of this book from Forge World and it has updated rules for Sixth Edition. First off I would like to say that if you're familiar with Forge World you know that you pay a premium for the models and the books. I'm just going to pick this book up and show you guys how thick it is. Pretty thick book. See the pages there. So, uh, for the price that I paid for it, I was very pleased. Um, the downside is I bought this for updated rules, not necessarily for the campaign, but updated rules for the hazard suits, which weren't in the initial printing of this in the first one. They have added those in and updated them here. So that's a key point. If you're interested in buying this book or any Imperial Armor book from Forge World, I would urge you to consider what you're going to do with it. Are you going to play campaigns or are you just getting it to have or what are you going to do with it? Um, that's something that if you're going to buy it and you're actually going to go through the campaigns and use the armies, you're going to get a lot more out of it than I do. So that being said, I'm going to flip through here. I've got some tabs made and show you guys some of what I like about it. Let's see if I get this opening here. A little bit hard to get it open from that angle. All right, so this is the first thing I like about this book. Uh, this is the first section, a little product placement there, brush for hire, using uh, business cards as my tabs. Um, it is full color, but this is the section for the Tau Army forces that are in this book. As you can see here, again, more color pages, um, a lot of fluff, some uh, some rules here, uh, particularly over here. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can get a, a you know, a rules look there, but basically it's got the rules for the various crisis suit products that Forge World uh, carries, the XV-84 and the XV-81, um, point cost and rules for them, and as you can see right here, Warhammer 40k, doesn't necessarily make it official for tournaments, but in casual play, these are designed to work with no within normal games, they're, they're not designed for apocalypse or anything like that, so if you decide that you want to use these in a normal game and you ask your opponent, make sure you show them the stamp, let them see it. Alright, what else we got here? We got broadsides, um, old broadsides sitting here, not the new ones, um, not that there's much difference. Tetras, uh, which are really nice. And again, this has all the updated rules for 6th edition. Barracuda, which you guys have seen me use, or, or talk about in my towel videos. Again, usable in regular 40k. Got a rule set now that works with the new 6th edition. All the rules, all the flyer rules that currently work in the normal game. It's got some other stuff in here too. Um, hammerheads, all that normal stuff like that. Um, trying to find some of the ridiculous stuff they have in here that's not for regular 40k. Uh, turrets, um, quick little interjection. The uh, turrets that you see here, um, here's, a, here's some artwork for them, make really good uh, count as quad guns or um, Icarus las cannons if you're running a Aegis defense line. That's, that's currently what I use. Let's see here. Um, HQ, usable normal games, Shazo Ramir, guy with the shield on Forge World. Alright, so here's some of the crazy stuff. This also includes apocalypse units. You've got the Tiger Shark Fighter Bomber. Um, let's see what else they got. Orca Drop Ship. Some cool stuff like that. The next section that I like in here and is a bit of um, a sad story for me. This is the Elysian Drop Troops Army List. I used to have a full Elysian Army, but due to funds, had to had to sell them. Um, as you can see here, got its force organization here, letting you know what you can uh, bring in. Pretty much the standard. Um, got its allied detachment down here, letting you know what we got. But the key thing that I like about this is the Elysians were updated for 6th edition and all their units and so forth were as well, which was kind of um, why mine, when I had them, uh, got backseated just a little bit. Um, the major downside with running, with running them, though, is a lot of the units are Forge World models and are very expensive. So, with that being said, the last area in this book that I really like, um, I'll just stop here, as you can see, it's got some different missions, deployment types, things like that. So, if you're wanting to spice up your game, you can use this book to either play the campaign, or you can just pull out some of the missions and try out something new. Um, now, moving on to the last section. This is my favorite spot in the book. Tau Empire Units of the Third Sphere Expansion. Uh, this is stuff that's not in the campaigns or in the book, but it's kind of a, a benefit to Tau players who purchase this book, so they actually have physical copies of the rules. You've got the 
Remore Drone Fighter, the Piranha Light Skimmer. Hazard Suits. Let me zoom in over here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hazard Suits. So you get those for regular games. So you actually get the updated rules. And it tells you how much their war gear costs. And if any of you guys have seen any of my other videos for Tau, you're going to see the Tau Battlesuit Commander Ryla, which uh, he's not bad. I don't use him as much as I used to, but again, updated 6th edition rules within this book. And then you got some paint schemes and stuff like that. So hopefully, ooh, this is heavy. This has been somewhat informative for you guys if you are interested in getting this book. Um, I think that the value associated with this and the expenses are not that bad considering what we're currently paying for new codexes from Games Workshop. The price tag on this is definitely not that bad for what you get. Uh, again, just doing a quick recap, if you're considering getting any Imperial Armor book, do a little research, find out if you're going to get the full use out of it, um, campaign rules, army list, I mean again this one has two army lists, Tau and the Elysian Drop Troop list, so if you're going to get it, maybe you and a buddy want to split the price so you can pay the campaign or maybe you want to consider both armies in it um, for your own purchase so that you get in your bank for your buck. So hopefully that was informative, guys. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave comments below. Let me know what you think. I will try to respond. If I miss something or if you have anything at all, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, happy wargaming.